Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today we're gonna to be comparing two laser machines. We're gonna compare the X-Tool M1 with the Glowforge Aura to see which one is the best one for you. So before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed, please do, I appreciate all the support that I can get. All right. Let's break down these tools for you. All right, but with the laser machine, I will say you've got some options. From the X tool side, I think the most comparable one to the Glowforge Aura is going to be your M1. So it's the X tool M1, and we're going to look at you have some options within the M1, the X tool side. The three that we're comparing is basically the two options that you have from Xtool M1 and the Glowforge Aura. All three, you really can't rank them. They come in different areas in all the different components that we're gonna be measuring. What you're gonna need to do, there, there's not gonna be one clear winner, one clear winner overall, because they all come in, like I said, with different components, different rankings within the components. It's gonna come down to what you find as, as an individual crafter, what is important to you, and that's gonna be an individual, it's gonna be an individual choice for you. I can't, I really can't say what's important, but we're gonna go through each one of the components and you can rank them for yourself, okay? So let's look at the first thing that is with the timing of this video, you're going to like, it's gonna to be tough because Xtool is having their anniversary sale. So let's go and look at products and, oops, hold on, let me go and let's look at the, um, we're gonna look at the M1. So this is a smart laser. The reason why I'm choosing the M1 is I'm comparing diode laser to diode laser. I'm also comparing price point. This is going to get you in that general bubble. Um, so the X-Tool M1, um, you can see right now, it's pricey. It's way pricier than the Glowforge Aura when you're looking at regular price. When you're looking at sales price, it's going to be a tough decision for you. It's still going to come in a little bit more um, than your Glowforge Aura. The Glowforge Aura is about 1100 compared to uh, 1400 but if you look at the regular price, it's you know 2000 compared to $1,100. That makes it a, a tougher pill to swallow, right? But when we're now comparing 1400 to 1100 this is where it's gonna get really tough <laughs> because you're gonna look at all the different um, all the different factors okay so again both are using a diode laser the optical power you're seeing 10 watts compared to 6 watts for the glowforge aura so on the X tool side, you're gonna have a five watt option, which is gonna make it cheaper. You're also going to have a 10 watt option, which is um, here at $1,400, the lowest one. If you, you know, there's gonna be the deluxe in there and the all in one bundle, all the things that come with it, okay? So that's gonna be extras. I'm really looking at this one because I'm not looking at all the extras. For the Glowforge Aura, it is, it's $1,100 and then the filter, okay? All right, let's look at the next component. The next component is the smart camera. So for the smart camera, you have 16 megapixels for the X-Tool compared to the two megapixels on the Glowforge Aura. For me, just me right now, I the camera does not factor in for me. It really doesn't matter that one is 16 versus two megapixels, but that's me. So for this one, I smart camera ranks really low for me when I'm comparing it, okay? The next one is the pass-through slot. Okay, what does the pass-through slot mean? The pass-through slot is only available on the Glowforge Aura. What that means is um, you can feed it in, and so your length, is going to be a lot more. Your X tool, you see right here, I'm gonna show you with my mouse. Every, your materials need to fit inside this bed, right? So you lift open the lid and everything that you're gonna engrave, cut, whatever it is, has to fit within this machine. 
as opposed to, oops, let me pull up the Glowforge Aura. The Glowforge Aura has a pass-through slot right here. That little piece folds down and you can feed your machine through. So let me see if I can get you a better picture of this, okay? Now, obviously the Glowforge has two other bigger machines, but we're not gonna look at it because we're really comparing the two diode lasers, okay? So right here, this little piece folds down and you could slide through, for instance, if I had a long piece of wood. As long as the width fits in here, I can cut, it will feed through. Sort of think of a Cricut, how like you, you have your smart materials and you can do, you know, like almost pretty much an unlimited length of vinyl. This is the same thing. Whatever you can pass through here, it, the, your length is going to be a lot longer. It doesn't have to fit just inside this bed, okay? So that's, if you, if that is important to you, then the Glowforge Aura has the pass-through slot. The X-Tool does not. The X-Tool is, everything has to fit inside this bed. Now, I know this is difficult to see, but the X-Tool, it, it is, um, it's got a higher, um depth right here you can engrave tumblers you would need the um the extra tools that will go with it you will need like the deluxe and you know your bundle in there because it needs an adapt uh, an adapter but you can see this this is this is hard to compare but i can tell you because i have the two next to each other the glowforge aura is almost half in in the height okay so you can see it's not as um, as high. The depth is going to be lower. So with the Glowforge Aura, you cannot engrave tumblers, for example. That's one thing that you can't you can't do. Whereas if you look at this, this is much higher. All right, um, blade cutting. So there is an option um, within the X tool that you can do blade cutting with the x uh with the glowforge aura everything is cut with your diode laser also with uh, the x tool you also have the rotary engraving option so again it's an adapt um an, an adapter that you can put in and you can have the option to not only cut with your diode but also with your blade and the rotary engraving which would allow you to do the tumblers with the Glowforge Aura, it is only diode laser. Everything is done with a diode laser. They both come in, uh, you know, I saw on here the security level, they're both class one. Um, the software is gonna be different. You have the Glowforge Print versus the XCS. All right, that's really what, what it's gonna boil down to is for the extra money, the higher cost, you're gonna have the 10 watts versus the six watts. You're also going to have adding on some more options. So it gives you more flexibility. You pay more, <laughs> but with paying more, you, you actually have an option to pay more, I should say that, because with the Glowforge Aura, your only option to get more is to change out the machine. So let me go back to here. The only way, the Glowforge Aura, it is a one price. For $1,100, this is what you're getting. There are no options within the Glowforge Aura to you know, add on things. So for $1,100, you're basically getting a diode laser, six watts, two megapixels, you've got the pass-through, and what can cut inside the bed. That's it. The only way to upgrade for the Glowforge is to actually go into the Glowforge Plus or the Glowforge Pro. So to get different machines. These are the three options that you have on the Glowforge side, okay? Now, if you go and you look at your X tool or um, you have lots of products, okay? You've got the X tool P2, the D1 Pro, the F1, the M1. So those are your different options, but Within the M1, which is comparing diode laser to diode laser, you still have a lot of options, okay? So let's go, let's go back into the X tool so that you can see the M1 options. Within the M1, 
And what's nice right now is, like I said, the timing of this video is that they are having their anniversary sale. So you're really getting, when you're comparing the prices, it's gonna be a very tough decision to make. Because I would say at regular price, it's gonna be hard. You're in a completely different ballpark for prices. Because if you want, you're comparing $1,100 of the Glowforge Aura, if you're looking at regular price, it's $2,2400, That's a totally different price point. But during the anniversary sale, it's all in the general ballpark. It's gonna be a tough decision. <laughs> You've got $1,400 is kind of sort of the base price, I would say. So your X-Tool M1 10 watts deluxe is 1,400 compared to 1,100, okay? So those are all the different um, options. I wish you a ton of luck. I think from a um, what you get, like the end, the end results, the products are the projects are going to be very similar. Um, it's it's these particular details that you're going to need to rank for yourself and decide if the you know where your price point is and what you need and what you want. So I hope that was helpful. I will see you guys next time. But take advantage of this sale right now. You've got basically two days left of this anniversary sale. I would say after the anniversary sale, for me, price point is a huge factor. And it's really, um, you know, it, it will be an easier decision to make because you're going to go from 1100 to, let's go back and look at this. Outside of the anniversary sale, it's going to be an $1,100 a purchase compared to a $2,000 purchase. For me, that's a you know, that is one of my top ranking factors, and it's it's going to be an easier decision for me. But during this anniversary sale, let's take advantage of that. Let's. <laughs> it's going to be a tough decision, but you've got two days basically 14 hours, so two and a half days to make this decision where it's gonna be a toughie. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. See you later.